Most times when you see a school bus such as this, it is taking children to the classroom. But for the Buckeye Local School District in Jefferson County, this past May, the reality was something like this. That is why firefighters from all around the region are here at Buckeye Local High School getting the proper training they need so that the next time something like this happens, they will be prepared. When one of the Buckeye Local School's buses was in a head-on collision this past May, Superintendent Kim Leonard knew it was time to take action. We have our main supervisor, Tony Panapucci. He is actually an EMT for the Mount Pleasant Fire Department, and he suggested that we have some kind of training. Panapucci, with the help of the sponsorship by the Special Tactics and Rescue Training Program, also known as START, was able to organize instructional courses that cover all types of accidents involving buses. Cutting on school buses isn't the same as cutting on a car. Um, it's, it's a lot different structural and different built, uh, different techniques. Uh, so we don't get to do this every day. Uh, the last time I've done it in training was 30 plus years ago. With the help of Bill's Towing and Recovery and the Buckeye Local Schools donating three buses, Start provided the instructors necessary to teach the firefighters in attendance. I was very prompt to jump on board, help out, I asked Mr. Panapucci, you know, exactly what he needs from us, how we can help this out. And the biggest thing that he said is, you know, getting the instructors down here, coming up with the funding. And I said, I'll make the donation to get those uh, instructors here to, you know, teach our volunteers and our responders in the area here locally. Thank everybody for being here. Uh, we, we have, as you can see, we have multiple people here from local fire departments. We also have several of our bus drivers here, and we thank them for being here. Our bus drivers are even commenting and saying that this is it's um, this has been an eye opening, an eye opening experience. From the tipped over buses to the heavy fire suits to all the hours the volunteers have put in, it's all for such a good cause. Reporting in Jefferson County, I'm Ed Dioria for News Nine.